So, so this is, this is magnificent. This is a thing of beauty. You know, my jaw dropped when I saw this from the Planck mission. And prior to that, there was a thing called W map that showed all these freckles. And prior to that, there were some measurements that showed an even more fuzzy view because it is from these tiny density variations that we can talk about later how they were imprinted there. But it's from these tiny density variations that gravity, that great sculptor of the universe, was able to create galaxies and clusters of galaxies containing stars because the denser regions would gravitationally contract and they would steal material from the less dense regions. And so you'd get these voids and clusters of galaxies. But the point is that the size of the typical freckles, and you can see there are some big ones and some small ones, but looking at this map, there's a, a, a typical size, and it turns, about, turns out to be about twice the apparent size of the full moon, one degree in the sky. And you can see them. You, your eye sort of sees that there are all these ones that are about the same size. It turns out that those are the most frequent size because those are the most frequent size of the density variations that had grown by an age of 380,000 years. And that's an, another way of using the early universe data to predict what the current Hubble constant is. And all of the techniques that are somehow linked to this map of the early universe give the smaller value of the Hubble constant with a very small uncertainty. And that's the and, tension. And and how much is the uncertainty now?